People generally think that AWG is a bunch of people who are too dedicated to the cause and they think we are a crazy lot of people. When I was growing up, I thought that it was natural for everybody to like animals and animals are part of society and environment as well. When I was young, my teacher incorporated this program in school where dogs and cats, puppies and kittens were brought to school and then you're playing with them when you were kids. So the education is, involves this kind of thing like, like being friendly to nature. They will not frown upon animals. We started with a, with a small shelter then it just grew. Every day as you speak, animals come in. Every month we've got a few, few dogs uh, left behind and we have cats being put in cages and left outside the gate. We come in the morning and we see oh, another one. And the animals like almost half done. But even then, we never put anything down. We try to give them the, the help that they require. Yeah, sorry, how many LL to wear? Uh, VFP for sterilization. Uh, when? Monday, Monday. Okay. Okay, bye bye. Yeah, thanks. Bye. bye. We never wanted to start a shelter where animals were in captivity at all. All we want to do is uh, sterilizing of animals. That's called trap neutral release. We go out and capture animals, we sterilize them, then put them back in the environment where it's safe. Otherwise, we take them back and try to find good homes for them. So we go through this every day and the day never ends with all the problems solved. So before this ends, another day comes in. The other AWGs are essentially doing the same thing as us. They're also uh, very largely involved in sterilizing of animals. They're trying their best to to find homes for the animals so that they can actually live in a proper place. It's a very sad situation because we don't have much space and much resources for animals in Singapore too. We're not talking about one or two dogs, we're talking about hundreds of dogs that we have and cats too. Even maintenance of the farm and shelter, so we need a lot of resources and money for that. See right now, people are too caught up with their with their work. Parents don't have time very much to do all these things because they're caught up in making money <laughs> and keeping up the family. So if that's caught up and there's something that's incorporated with the syllabus in school for younger children, they just cultivate their habit. They just think there's normal like animals and everything that's, that's created. They won't be frowning upon strays with uh, disdain. And that is nurtured from young. That happened to me. I was lucky that way at a very young age. It's a journey that we have undertaken a long time. So there's not whether or not I can it has to go on. A lot of, we have actually given up a lot of our social life for this for many years now. It's become us. These animals are actually uh, my family, my extended family, so to speak. They come from different backgrounds and uh, different sort of abuse, different sort of situations and abandonment, and some are badly injured. But these animals are my family. Mm -hmm.